And the first thing that's going to be is working with numbers in standard form. So let's work these out. And when you multiply, the brackets in fact are doing nothing at all. This would be exactly the same question if it looked like this. brackets in fact make no difference to the calculation at all. And also when we multiply we can do it in any order. So let's first off multiply those two together, 1.2 times 4, and then let's multiply these two together. And when we multiply we add the indices, so 4 add 8 is 12. Finished. Let's look at this one. Let's first off multiply these two parts. 9 times 4.5, so 9 fives are 45, carry the 4, and 9 fours are 36, and that 4 makes 40. Now let's uh, multiply these two together by adding their indices, 6 and 7 adds up to 13. However, this answer is not in standard form. To be in standard form, this part of the answer must be between 1 and 10, so we'll have to rewrite this answer and rewrite it as 4.05. But in doing so, we've made this 10 times smaller. So we'll have to make an adjustment here, and make that 10 times bigger, bigger by adding 1 power of 10. Now let's do this division. 7.2 divided by 6 goes 6 into 7 goes 1, 6 into 12 goes 2, so that's 1.2, multiplied by 10 to the power of we're going to subtract the indices because we're doing 10th power 9 divided by 10th power 4 and therefore we subtract the indices. Let's look at this one. 9.6 divided by 1.2. Well 96 divided by 12 is 8. So the answer to this, 9.6 divided by 1.2 is 8. And then we'll have to work out 10th power 7 divided by the 10th power 3 by subtracting the little numbers, the indices, the powers, all the indices, all powers, and there we are. But always making sure that the number part is between 1 and 10 for the answer to be in standard form. Now that's multiplication and division. But if you're asked to do addition or subtraction, then it's not quite so straightforward. You cannot add these together in a quick way, the way they stand. You'd have to change that to an ordinary number. In other words, 1.2 times 10 power 4 is 1, 2, and move the dot over there so it ends up four places along. And this is 4 times that, which is 400. And then add them together. You could then change that back to standard form and writing 1.24 times 10th power 1, 2, 3, 4. If you want to do a sort of semi-quick way, <laughs> you have to have these the same. In other words, you have to rewrite the question either by making them both 10th power 4, or both 10th power 2, or 10 to any other power you feel like. Let's change them both to 10 to the power 2. So if I'm going to change that to 10 to the power 2, then I've made this 2 powers of 10 smaller. I've made it 100 smaller. They are asked to make this 2 powers of 10 bigger. In other words, move the dot two places over the 2 and over 0. These are now the same value. This is not in standard form anymore but they are the same value. Now, I've got 120 10th power 2's plus 4 10th power 2's. I have got 124 10 to the power 2's. So you can add them together in a way if you are careful. 120 10th power 2's plus 4 10th power 2's is 124. 10th power 2's. But this answer is no longer in standard form. But you can change it by writing this as 1.24 and in doing so appreciating you've made that 2 powers of 10 smaller, 100 times smaller, 
so you'll have to make that two powers of ten bigger. So either route is up to you for addition or subtraction. So to work this one out I'd have to go by that route or that route. Addition or subtraction of standard form not quite so easy. Working out decimals without a calculator for division. The golden rule is never divide by a decimal. And that's really it. You say, I will change that to 23. Only ever divide by a whole number. And if you change this part by moving the dot to there, then your answer to this question is the same as your answer to this question. It doesn't matter if you're dividing into the decimal, as long as you're not dividing by the decimal. So then you just put the decimal point up there and off you go with the division. 23 into 1 won't go, 23 into 14 won't go, 23 into 149 goes and then you have to have a little guess. Is it 5 or is it 6? Well you have to work them out just to see. 3, 6 or 18, carry the 1. It's 6. Now whether you do this as short division or long division is entirely up to you. Bring down the next number. 23 is into that. Well, it won't go 6, it'll go 5 then, won't it? 5 threes are 15, carry the 1. So it goes 5. 1, 5, 3, subtract, bring down that. 23 is into that, and there you go. But the whole point is never divide by a decimal, only divide by a whole number. To calculate repeated percentage changes. 56 pounds is invested. It's increased in value by 14% each year for four years. What is the value of the investment at the end of four years? There is always more than one approach to percentage questions. And there are most definitely several ways of doing this. I'm going to show you the way I think is the most straightforward. Appreciate that when you're working with 14%, there are three scale factors, as I call them. If you multiply by 0.14, you are working out 14%. If you multiply by 1.14, you're working out 14% and adding it on automatically. And if you multiply by 0.86, then you're working out 14% and subtracting it. If you think about it, this is 1 plus 0.14 and this is 1 minus 0.14. So if I was to multiply my £56 by 4.14 I would work out 14%. If I multiply 56 by 1.14 it will do two jobs work out 14% and add the 14% on to the £56. And if I were to multiply by 0.86, it would do two jobs. It would work out the 14% of the £56 and subtract it in one go. So in this particular question, I want my £56. That will work out how much money I have invested at the end of one year because it's working out 14% and adding it onto the £56. If I then multiply by that it will work out 14% of the result of this and add it onto that. In other words that will give me the amount of money I've got with all my interest at the end of the second year. End of the third year, end of the fourth year. Multiplying that out on a calculator will answer that question and you should appreciate that in fact there is a shorter version by just doing that. So let's do it. <coughs> 56 pounds multiplied by 1.14 raised to the power of 4 equals. Now the only thing you need to appreciate now is the answer is a calculator answer 
not a necessarily sensible answer. So the last thing you need to appreciate is a sensible answer would be 94 pounds and 58 pence.